Hey guys, this is my review of the entry grade new Gundam. So, this um, is an entry grade. There's only three of them that currently exist. Uh, the R78, the Strike Gundam, and this new Gundam. So, right out of the box, let's put that aside, right out of the box, so, as you can see, not a very secure kit. Um, out of the box, it was a pretty secure kit. But now, it's gotten all flimsy and wonky. Just looking like it's doing some sort of zombie walk all the time. Um, so... Let's get to the pros of this kit. The pros um, are that the color accuracy is pretty good. That's an actual separated piece for the crotch V. And then these eyes are actually not stickers. Um, those that black around, it's just the shadow of the hollowness of the head, which I would never say it's a good thing to have a, a really hollow kit, but in this case it is, because you get this really cool effect. That eye and that camera, head camera piece, if you can get it on camera, that is the same piece as what's on the eyes, which is pretty cool. Um, the the articulation in some parts of this kit are pretty good as well. The price is fantastic. Only a thousand yen, ten Canadian dollars. I don't know, eight or nine US dollars. Um, so that's that's pretty good. So. Some of the cons of this kit are that um, it gets really loose, like really loose. This arm, um, a lot of times when I move it around, I move it up. Yep, there it goes. So. A lot of the times that will happen, which the arm just disconnects. Um, so that's pretty big no-no. And there is a reason to that. Oh, it's not falling off this time. It falls off sometimes. I'm just disconnected. Anyways, the reason for that is because the connection is um, just a ball joint onto the arm, uh, the body, the body itself. Um, since I have this off right now, the way they designed this is not like, um, it's more like the arm can't move independently from the shoulder armor. Um, because the shoulder armor is just slides onto the arm, just clicks on, and then it's just like that. Um, another con is that it's missing something very important to the new Gundam, which is, um, I have on this real grade right here, which is this, the fin funnels. I mean, like, come on, Bandai. Like, what's, what's New Gundam known for? These awesome fin funnels, right? That you could just remove. And then have them transform into... These awesome looking flying shooting weapon thingies, right? That's what... Um, that's what's iconic about New Gundam. It's these. But the Andrew Grade doesn't have them. Um, which is kind of 
disappointing. But I can't argue with Bandai about this because the kit is just ten dollars and ten dollars loan, which is still crazy. Why can't I get this on? Oh, I, oh, I got it. I got it. So I can't argue with this, but I really would have been happy if they've just raised the price by like three dollars to just mold this entire thing in one piece and in like one color or something or just have like this top section mold it entirely white these yellow and gray pieces just molded in a single piece and you just like slide it on and then these two are just the only two separate parts that you also just plug on they could just go like back here um it doesn't really fit on that well though because it doesn't fit at all because this is like connector piece for like the high grade fin funnels and which i don't have the high grade but the view grade uses like a peg style um so that just doesn't really work um so another i think i got through the cons oh the cons all right so accessory cons there's also it's missing beam saber effect parts because they give you a beam saber handle and they don't give you effect parts so you can't do anything with this like literally nothing i don't know about the high grade beam effect parts if you could use them um i know the real grade ones don't work i've tried that <laughs> sorry my nose is just a little uh, stuffy today um so yeah those are kind of the only cons um so let's move on to articulation from the top of the head all the way down to the feet so this head if you include neck if you count neck as part of the head will have three points of connection the head itself which has a very slight movement the actual joint connecting to the white piece on the bottom and then the white piece itself sort of moves up and down you know what? Let me move this uh, here. That's, that's, oh. oh, and his arm fell off. Let me just make a quick adjustment to my setup right here. So, you know what? That's too close. I don't like this. I'm sorry. So, that head just um, has three points of. Uh, articulation which is pretty good honestly um it's got the it's, yeah you know what let's just move this back it's got these safety flags so that it's not sharp you don't stab yourself on like real grades and master grades where they don't have those and the v fins are actually sharp you could cut these off with a nipper and uh sand them down to make it sharp but i didn't go i don't really want to go through all that effort for entry grade um so on to the arms i'm not gonna touch this one because it just falls off all the time so the arms have a 360 they go up about that far just in the middle of 90 and 180 degrees. Um, the shoulder armor bits can sort of do that. Interesting. Shoulder pads themselves can move up about that far, actually. Oh. Yeah, maybe let's not overdo this. So they could, they have this little front and backwards movement, just that little bit. Because it's just a ball joint. You got 
360 bicep swivel. Just a bit more than 90 degree bend in the elbow. These hands, they look like they're on a swivel, but they're not. And they're actually on ball joints. Um, but the ball joints just go really far in. And if you pull the hands out just a bit, you just get that little range of movement. The waist, he could bend down that far. What? Let's just pop this off so you can see. So he could bend down about that far. He could bend back about that far. It's got two points of articulation, one up here and one down there. One that connects um, torso to the waist and one that's in between. And then that in between gives you most of the forwards movement. It could rock side to side about that far. And it could make a 360 turn. Oh yeah. Let's go new Gundam. So these front skirts are uh, separable, I think. They just go up and down. These side skirts are just on ball joints. So anything you might expect from a ball joint. You got some somewhat nice detailing in the front skirts. And some somewhat nice detailing in the back skirts. Um, these legs are on ball joints. I'm not going to mess with that one either because it's just really loose. So let's see. So these legs, um, the ball joints sort of have that little movement, but the legs themselves are on this really tight thigh swivel. The legs could kick up about that far, just a bit more than 90 degrees. They could kick out only that far. Kind of disappointing. You got a pretty good knee bend though. It's basically goes as far as it can just because of the design. Um this foot it's got it's this foot itself is connected to this gray piece that's connected to the body. So this foot has got this sort of up and down motion just by itself with the gray piece. It's got this this ankle pivot. And then the gray piece itself is just on a swivel that moves back and forth. Like that. So let's see this uh, ankle pivot. You know what? Let me just take this really loose leg out. Let's see this ankle pivot. So all oops. All the way to the outside, this foot completely flat, goes out about that far. And all the way to the inside, it goes quite a bit more. Um, I don't know why that is, I think the armor just hinders it just a bit that way. Um, actually, it's only a bit more. So, the armor doesn't really hinder it as much going this way, in inwards, rather than outwards. So, that's probably why. Um, let's move on to the accessories. Got that guy back there. The accessories that it comes with, it comes with two things, two things only. It comes with beam rifle. Beam rifle. <laughs> It's got some pretty nice details inside of it. You can panel line all of that if you like panel lining. This is pretty good. Um, it's really simple design though. It's just two white pieces sandwiched together. Sorry, sandwiched together. And this blue piece sort of just placed on top. Um, 
this, this, um, this shield, forgot the name for a second, is just three pieces. So it's this gray piece that goes from the missiles all the way down to here. You have this on connected piece, it connects onto that gray piece, and then this gray piece connects to the shield itself. This kit comes with two stickers only, which are those two right there. Oops, Amuro, the Amuro, um initial, I guess that's what it's called, it's with the unicorn and just the A itself. So that's pretty cool, and that's about it for this review. So, sorry, here's my opinion on the Entry Grand U Gundam. Um, it's a cool kit. Um, if you like classic looks, because compared to like the real grade, um, you got them. It's lacking in a lot of looks uh, or panel lines. Sorry, so it's just like flat in most areas. So if you like this classic, just very plain look, you will love the look of this kit itself. Um, you will prob like you will appreciate the color separation on this and the articulation in the lower half of the body um knees down it's great <laughs> but knees up it's not anything to write home about so what would i give this kit out of 10 i would give this kit a solid a solid Four, yeah. Um, just because it only costs a thousand yen, I can't be so harsh on it as to give it like a two. I mean, okay, if this cost the average price of, if this cost the same amount as a high grade, I would definitely give this like a one or a two. Um, and the only reason I'd give it a 1 or 2 at all rather than a 0 would be because of the, the, um, sorry, would only be because of the accessories and some points of the articulation, and that's really it. That's the only thing I would give it a 2 for, but because of its price, I'll give it 2 more marks and bump it up to a 4. So that's my final rating, a 4 for the entry grade New Gundam. So, here's my opinion. Should you buy this kit? Um... Yes, if... It's your first kit. If it's not your first kit, skip out on this. Um, if you want a new Gundam, go for the real grade. Don't go for the high grade, though, because the high grade's older, and I know, I've heard, that the joints on that thing are much looser, or they get really loose over time. So, not saying that this thing doesn't get loose, but... Excuse me. But... I just heard, like, like the high grade costs way more, and the only reason you probably get the high grade is for the beam effect parts, extra hands, and the fin funnels. Those three things. Now, I don't think it's worth an entire thirty dollars um, $30 more, because the high grade costs, like, 40 bucks. Um, I don't know why, but New Gundam is just a more expensive kit. But, um, here, I took off the shield. I will probably be doing a review on the real grade soon. Um, but this is the real grade New Gundam. Um, 
Hi. It's just getting a bit late, and I'm just kind of tired. So I will be doing a review on the real grades soon. Um. So that's it for the review of the entry grade new Gundam. See you guys in the next review. Bye.